So what you can see here is the silicone can be very tricky to put into molds because when it has this graphite in it, it's very stringy. So it doesn't necessarily want to pour into things that well. But what it does do is it responds very well to a little bit of pressure. So I can load it into what is essentially just a really badass caulk gun and fill it up. Boop, boop, boop. And then squeeze it out through a little tube to do a little like very simple injection molding of the silicone. So we go over here. Where's our cap? Here's our cap. Um, cap just looks like this. Just has a little mounting hole for any kind of tube you might want. Whoops, I started uh, leaning on this. There we go. Okay, whoo. Almost had a big spill there. Okay. Screwing on the cap. Da, da, da. Then I'm going to attach a tube. So this tube was injecting regular silicone into some of our molds. What I can do now is just pop that in there. Okay, makes a nice easy connection. I can I'm going to pump out the current amount of silicone that's in there. So you can see it's kind of a bright green silicone, getting some of the air out. And you can see it's starting to get chased by the black silicone, which is our conductive silicone goo. So there we go. And so while it's hard to necessarily mold, look, it, uh, it squirts real easy. So we can go into the bottom of the mold and just kind of fill it up. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take this other mold. Da, da, da. Clear some of these things out of the way. I have a mold wipe off this little silicone turd. I have a mold just of a thumb here. This is just my thumb. Um, it's a glove mold, so I'm just going to invert it. I've already greased it. And bloop. I'm just going to hang it right here. So normally it's pretty hard to get this graphite silicone all the way down there. But using this technique, I just kind of inject it and just start filling it up. Boop. And I'm kind of hindering myself right now because I'm pumping it through this real long tube when really this is a pretty shallow mold. So I don't need to pump through that much, but this is just giving you kind of an example. So it's a little difficult right now to squeeze it, but it's not bad. It helps make sure we don't get Big weird air pockets or anything down there where the thumbs are. And it's still flowing pretty decently. Do, do, do. Okay. So by this point, I've shown you that basic thing. I'm just going to detach this outer tube and show you how well it just flows just in general. <laughs> okay. So and now with this tube, I can actually let that cure inside there and pull it out real easily. And then I have a conductive rubber noodle, uh, which can be useful for all kinds of things and sensors. But now we just have just this, and you can see how easy this guy's flowing. Blah. So it's like easier than toothpaste. And I can just finish pumping, and I actually just ran out of goop. But um, yeah, so quite easy to load up with just a little bit of pressure. I'm just gonna finish up this mold. Get this noodle in there. Da, da, da. You can see if I tried to just pack this in there, how much more difficult that would be. But using this kind of pumping method makes it a little easier. Add some extra silicone over here. I'm just gonna top it off with. 
And then when you're done with pumping the silicone, you can just let it, you take this cap off. Um, and then you can just really just set it aside, let it cure, and then it cleans out real easy. You can just pull it. There we go. Take that there. Beautiful. And I'm just topping off the rest of this. No real reason to watch this any longer in case you are watching it. All I'm doing is putting it on top, but my hands are too greasy to turn off the camera. <laughs> These popcorn buckets are very useful. You can get them for about a quarter each if you get them in bulk. And you can vacuum degas and do all kinds of great stuff with your silicone. And then they're disposable. Some found a really good way to recycle old silicone yet. We're thinking about maybe grinding it up, making like a silicone meal, silicone flour that we can mix with other silicone where your molds don't need to be that nice, just need to take up space. So that's one possibility. And just getting the rest. The rest of this goo, might as well use it all up. Okay. What up? I use either your normal laptop or your air laptop. Totally. Can you make my camera stop? <laughs> my hands are too goopy. Your camera? Is it yeah. yeah. I was recording just injecting the stuff.